Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Dribble Vibe. Hey guys and welcome back to the gerbil vine. For today's video I thought we could do something a little bit different. So as you can see we've got a ton of different supplies here. Uh, now this is my wooden bin. Here I've got this massive <laughs> bendy bridge. It's actually I believe it's a rabbit hide but it's so huge so I thought it would work really well as like a partition divider um, because I feel like you could pile up the bedding and this would work really well as a barrier. Uh, to keep that from overflowing and then over here I've got my box of just random little things for them to use um, cardboard wise and things that they can nibble on and then over here this is just my random bin of like stuff for them to chew again because gerbils teeth never stop growing they do need to chew a lot and then we've got all the tools over here that I need to clean my gerbil tank Whenever I do a tank clean with gerbils, they can be really finicky if you throw away all of their old bedding. Uh, so as a rule of thumb, I usually keep 50% of their old bedding and then I just add some new bedding in. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what my tank currently looks like. Um, so I do have a 40 gallon tank, which in my opinion is a decent starting point for two gerbils. Um, ideally, I would like to get them into a 70 gallon one day, um, or even maybe somehow build some sort of topper for the 40 gallons so that I could just fill the entire thing with bedding. So right now they've got a bunch of stuff going on in here. Hi guys, how you doing? How you doing? Hopefully we can try and collect these guys to put them in the 10 gallon tank while I clean their tank in here. So let's get started cleaning gerbil tanks. So what we're going to do first is start scooping out some of the old bedding. We're going to fill up the smaller 10 gallon tank. I don't know if you guys can see him. He found a nice little seed all the way at the bottom of all that bedding. Oh, silly little gerbils. So as you can see, we've got quite a bit of bedding in their 10 gallon tank here. Are you a handsome guy? Yeah, you! You, over there! There we go. So we've got our 10 gallon tank here that we're going to be putting the gerbils in um, while we clean their larger 40 gallon tank. In the meantime, I'm just going to put a couple of items in here. To So now our goal will be to try to get the gerbils to put them into the spare tank while I clean their large tank. So we're going to start with Jerry because he's over here. Say hi Jerry, we'll focus on you. Beautiful guy. Hello. And then we just scoop them up like that. And we're just going to put this lid on so that they stay safe and secure. I won't have to worry about checking they've jumped out of the tank because gerbils are really really great jumpers you may not know that about them if you're new to gerbils um, but gerbil owners will tell you it is surprising sometimes how high they can jump so we're going to begin with taking all of their items out of the tank individually i'm probably going to speed this part up because there is a lot of stuff in here so let's get started Whenever you t I take anything plastic out of the tank, I always inspect it for signs of chewing. Sometimes your gerbils will go for any type of plastic material, um, so if that happens you would have to remove all the plastic from the tank because it can be very a very serious issue if gerbils ingest any sort of plastic. Um, but so far so good. <laughs> I just emptied both of these containers because we're going to replace it with some new stuff for them. Mm -hmm. 
it's sort of like a treasure hunt going through the gerbil tank sometimes because you find items and you're just like I forgot I put that in there. You just figure out they buried it and then they will have started to fashion little weapons. Um, so what I do is I try to just clear as much bedding out of the space as I can. And usually the nest is compressed enough um, that it just stays in the house like that. Um, and then after I sift through it and just remove any peas or any bits of soiled bedding. So I've got this massive clear bin beside me. Hi, my loves. Say hi to my sweet treats. So we're just going to start scooping and sifting the bedding and putting it into this tank. So I'm not going to bother saving um, whatever bedding is left in this tank. So now I'm just going to take out the platform um, and the wheel so I can go rinse that off and I'll be right back. As you can see here, we have quite a large bin filled with um, all of their old bedding that we are going to, we'll save about half of it. And then we're going to put in some of the new bedding. So now that we've got everything out of the tank, we're going to do one more quick sweep around just to get any of the remaining um, dust or little bits of food or whatever else is in here. So once you're happy with the level of cleanliness of your tank, then I just take a dry um, washcloth and I just go around and just dry up anything that may be a little damp so that way your bedding doesn't get wet and doesn't start to mold. So we're going to start setting up the tank now. So I only used about half of the, the white clean and cozy bedding that's new because I am going to be mixing it with um, some aspen, some hay, and the natural clean and cozy as well as adding in a bunch of their old bedding.
not a lot of bedding left in this bin here, but I'm going to try to put some more of it back in here because I've still got some space to fill up. So now that the tank is clean and ready to go, we're going to collect the gerbils and put them back into their clean home. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this 13 minute long cleaning vlog. I hope you had fun following along with me. I did have to edit quite a bit of footage out in order to keep it as reasonably timed as possible. Although if you've done gerbil tank cleanings before, you know that they can take well over an hour. As you can see, Jerry and Dusk are loving their new setup. I just love how excited they get exploring the new layout. So thank you again for tuning into today's video. I would love to do a setup compilation of your gerbil homes, hopefully sometime in the near future. As always, burrow down below and let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Thank you. Bye.